Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Fancy on 14. It's either morning time, lunch time, evening time, whatever time it is. Hope you're having a great day. Um, we have some work to do out here. Meredith is, is putting me to work. We got to make either a sheep pen or a goat pen or some kind of animal pen for her. So I, what I'm gonna do today is um, get all the T-post driven in. First I gotta mark the area off, figure out where she wants it. Get all the T-posts driven in, and then start looking at how much fencing I'm gonna need to put up. So, I think she wants, I think she wants some goats. And if we're doing that, it means we're gonna have to get quite a bit of stuff. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a little bit of a project. I don't have any of the pins, any of the, the troughs, the waterers, none of that set up. But I'm gonna try to talk her into using this spot up here where we have kind of a neat system. It comes off of our pond, and it always has water in it. So I'll show you guys that. I think a lot of you cattle owners probably have something like this set up. And since I have it on the property, I'm gonna make use of it. So let me get on over here, show you what I'm talking about. And then we will lay all this fencing out and see me getting, to, getting put to work. So hang with me guys. All right, so here is where we're thinking about doing this. So there's the house back there. And that little berm is the back side of the pond. So we've got some huge mature oaks all through this creek line right here, which runs all the way to the front of the property out to that lake. So I think we'll use this little open area here to give them some grazing land, you know, and then we'll use the tree line, to give them some hideaway and some cover. Um, and let me walk over here and show you where this water system is. That's pretty neat, actually. That's actually, look at Meredith out there driving the mini bike through the trees. Uh-huh, I caught her. I'm out here doing the work and she's out here playing. Look at that. Anyways, so like I said, so the pond is here. We got the creek line running through here. This is, this is probably the most work spot of our property for me to be doing this. So we've got all these trees in here, all the brush, our pile of catch all over here. We've got the little fort. See that? This is like their play zone. It's actually really neat in here. Um, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna make use of all of this. So we'll run the fencing probably from way down there, cut it behind the berm here, probably 90 behind that tree, and then come down and follow this whole creek line. Let's see if I can get her to come over here. And we got some neat stuff in here. So I think we'll, this is gonna turn out nice. Goats are gonna clean all this up, so will the sheep, but it's just neat. All this stuff's just been here for years. So we'll get it all clean in here, make them a little goat habitat. But this is the other neat thing. Is this, which is coming off, of, man, look at all the holes in here. My goodness. I think we'll get Bubba to set some traps over here. But this right here, is neat and some of y'all might have this on your property so if you do leave me a comment and give me some more information on it i looked it up online and all i can find out is that it's from you see it's smith cattle guard and the ozarks so that's our pond water and it's just it's always full frozen you break the ice on top it's always got water and it's a direct feed to our pond back there so why not use this so we'll, we'll do the fencing all the way around it come up here right before the road probably go back around and give them all this area in here so here comes the boss so what i'm gonna do with her is i'm gonna walk around and probably spray paint some lines make sure she's happy with it and then we'll uh we'll go from there what are you gonna do with all the fence that's around it i'm gonna let you and bubba have that project y'all can take all this fencing down and I'll work on the big fencing and y'all can make this y'all's little how-to project. Because really, wasn't this used for cows or something? Yeah, it's a trough. Probably. It's a trough. So, I mean, it's just gonna, it's always gonna have water, which is nice. It's coming off of our pond. So I don't have to worry about filling this up out here for the animals. Yeah, but why do you think that there's a fence all around it? The, oh, probably because there's a reservoir underneath here. And to keep, like, if there was cattle, probably keeping them off the top of this reservoir. You see there's a, that white pipe is a vent going down there. So I'd imagine there's a, a reservoir down here. They just did the fencing around to keep them off of that. Yeah, but we don't need to keep that up there. Yeah, we'll, we'll need to keep it. 
We'll, no, just, we'll just make it look nicer. <laughs> we're not. We're not keeping it. <laughs> it's got it a there. rustic old time feel. Look at that. It's going to fall apart. <laughs> no. An animal's going to try and jump on it. Some goat or something. The whole thing's going to fall. No, we can leave the piping all up here. We'll leave all yeah, this. Yeah, the piping's fine. Take all that. Fin That's actually neat. You can do like a... You can use it for your little lodge stuff. Make yeah. your little fireplace pit area. You can burn on top of that. I was wanting it to go more this way. So do you have enough posts and all that kind of stuff? You just have to probably I get mean, some more. Our, we're keeping this in the middle, right? I remember we're keeping it in the inside, This right? whole thing will be in the inside, yep. So if we start it at what, from the, like the front of that fallen post right, I'll over tell you there? What, I'm gonna give you the camera. I'm gonna get the spray paint and I'll, I'll mark our corners and then I'll run all the way down here and then go across and you just tell me how far you want me to walk. I, I, just, I can put the fence in wherever. I we just can, don't know how much like metal you have, posts. Post? I can get more of the poster easy. I got like 50 or 60 right now. Okay. Got them all laid out, bubs? Yep. Good job. Teaching you young, huh? You can do the whole pin for the pigs and whatever else we get next on your, on your own, right? After yep. this? Yep. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to show you this video when that time comes, huh? Okay. Look at this mud mess out here. Walking around with extra 15 pounds of mud on your feet all day. But again, it's going to be so much easier putting these in the ground with it being this wet out here. So mud on my feet. Any day if I can make a, a job easier by driving these in, so it's it's a good trade-off. Hi, right, Bubba, let's get ready. As you see, 
it's uh, like 60 degrees, hoodies off and I'm sweating. So it's just some work, but it's fun work. I enjoy it. And this being our first actual, uh, I guess real big animal pen versus just doing the chicken coop and all that back behind the house. This is fun because we're excited. Now, I don't know what Meredith's gonna get first. Sheep, goats, what are you thinking? Uh, probably goats. You think goats? I'm, I'm guessing goats too. Got all the all the T-posts are set now. So while we were doing this, we realized that we went, we tried to avoid some tree lines. Like if you look down here, we went on the back side of that big oak there. Tried to miss some down here, but ran into stuff like this. Where you come across those rocks and then you gotta move a T-post left or right or a foot over, and this is what it is. So down here, we got a little bit more to mess with before we can probably we're gonna go we'll get the fence in tomorrow bubs i know he's been uh ready to get done for the day so we got all these driven over here but i got some trees that are in the way and those post posts aren't perfectly uh square going around or straight but like i said there's it's all rock bottom down there and i'm not messing with it more than i have right here so we're just going to cut these tree limbs get them out of our way so we can put our pan cow panel in, in here the fencing run that all the way through here tomorrow but we're going to trim this today and then wrap it up how does that sound good. sound good you're getting worn out mm -hmm. had enough for today mm -hmm. been a big help all right so that's the plans bub let's go ahead and get my saw come over here and cut all this brush down and uh and be done
I'll wrap it up for today. Bubba wanted me to reward him with what'd you say? Doing something fun. Yes. And what was what was your what was your answer of doing something fun? To what? go to the gas station. To go to the gas station. His thing, doing something fun. His reward was to go to the gas station. So, and why do you want to go there? To get something. To just pick something out. Yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 an easy reward. That's an easy payoff. So I'm gonna take him to the gas station and call it a day. You having fun, Ellie? Huh? I still cannot believe that you want gas station chips and drink for helping me do all these all these fence posts over here. I'm, I'm five years from now we're gonna look back at this and you're gonna be like, man, why did I ask to go to the gas station as a reward, Bryson? That's just hilarious. It is now day number two, so went and picked up all the paneling or the cow panels. Got some posts, got the gate, uh, got some wire to put the fencing on there. So. I know a lot of people will be talking about the different type of, of fencing I could have used. I could have used the, the welded roll fence where you got to tension it and pull it. Um, I could have done barbed wire, but for me, with what, what I'm doing here in my setup, I chose this fencing. This
Right, trailer's unloaded now. Got my post out there for the gate. I'll be doing that. I'm gonna get the auger out here later on. That'd be the last thing I do is gonna be the gate. Um, but trailer's done. Got that nice ramp on the back, which I couldn't use because the way that the panels were up on it, there was just too much weight. I couldn't open the gate. And I would have loved to have been able to back my trailer all around here, drop some post off or some panels down there on that side of the property back in here. But it's just, it's, it's just a mud pit. I mean, as soon as I step in it, it's just peanut butter. So that's why, that right there is why, unfortunately, I'm having to do a little bit more extra work and, and drag all this stuff around. So, Ellie, where are you going? She's my helper for the day. But got it unloaded. Now we're going to start a uh, start panel. I'm gonna start on this side here, do my long run here. I'm probably gonna put, I'm thinking about putting the gate right here. I have a lot, of, I can change it as I go, but probably gonna be in this corner or somewhere here in this flat area. So when it does dry, I can come in here at the truck and trailer if I ever have to go in there with something, unload a trough or any anything, anything like that, I can be able to get, get access to it. Um, but the gate will be last. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. Just leave it laying out here for now and start putting up some paneling. Take this over there and show you guys what's going on here. 
it is another windy day out here. It is, the wind is something else right now. So, it's coming along good. Um, I have to admit, I did make a mistake. So, there's, you ever heard the expression, there's 15 different ways to skin a deer? Everybody skins a deer differently? Well, same with fencing, you know, there's all, all different ways. Um, first thing I noticed I did wrong was I spaced my T-posts too far apart. I thought I could stretch this 15 foot out and it looks great when you're over here, but support wise, I am going to have to drive some more T-posts in the middle. No big deal, it's just more work. Um, I, mean, I, probably, I won't like having that extra slack in here like this. So we will do that at the end. Once we get all this fully fenced, we'll come back and drive these other T-posts in the middle. Another thing that I'm coming across is these guys. So you get your T-post and these come with it, right? Looks like a squirrely piece of, of wire. I've never used them before. Just now learning how to do these. And just drop that one. Learning how to do these. But what I'm finding out is that when you wrap them around here and go on the back side of this T-post, if you get a flathead screwdriver right here and pry this piece down, it's a lot easier than trying to force it in. I think Tractor Supply has a tool you can get. Um, I just I have plenty of tools, so I'll make I'll make use of what I got. So let's see if I can do this while holding the camera. So you can just literally get a screwdriver, pry it down, just like that, pop it underneath, and I flip it back around. I got my channel locks over there. I use my screwdriver here though. All I'm doing is bending that back up. And that's secured. So they're actually, I mean, they're nice if you know how to use them. Just take a second. I come back. I've been crimping this back side with the channel locks, crimping that top side. Just to make sure it's actually really good and supported. I'm overlapping. Let go, bus. Let go. I'm overlapping this side. So I'm putting that on the back and on the front. It doesn't go off of two. It won't fit over two panels. So we just cut some wire, hold that by. We just cut some wire, about 12 inches long, uh, 14 gauge, and I'm just wrapping that wire on these two right here. And I call it a cowboy twist on the backside. Twist it up, tuck in the, the wire against the post so nobody gets cut, no animals get cut, and that supports the front. So I'll do one of those right here for you guys. I'll show you what I'm doing. Let's see if you can hold this one up. Like okay. All I'm doing is wrapping this around and I'm twisting it on the back side. I've had my gloves, I'd be back there twisting it. Just like that. You see it back here, Bob? Mm -hmm. I put them together like that and then I bend these up and towards the T post, okay? So that way there's nothing that's going to get cut on the ends of these. I can come back and cut them off if I wanted to, but I just shove them up here. Yeah. just like that so that wire is tucked in there nothing's gonna get cut on it the front part of that's now it's got way more wire than it needs it's got two so like i said i'm putting the the t-post clips that it comes with on first to hold this side on and then i'm coming back where i'm doubling up and i'm putting that piece of wire you gonna try one putting that piece of wire on there like bubba's doing down here to hold the two panels together so it's coming along good. This front stretch will be easy because it's just pretty level ground. Uh, getting towards that creek line over there is going to be a different story. We'll have some fun over there.
Sunrise is just for you